What's going on guys, Bunks here, and today I have a quick video giving you the locations to a whopping 6 different and super rare S-Class multi tools in No Man's Sky. Now if you were to try and find these S-Class multi tools yourself, it would take you forever to get just one of these, so hopefully you get yourself a brand spanking new S-Class multi tool after watching this video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get stuck in. Now, as with all of my videos where I give you locations to various things, it does mean you are going to need to have quick access to a portal and have unlocked all six in the portal glyphs, so you can of course use said portal. If you haven't got quick access to a portal or haven't yet unlocked all six in the portal glyphs, don't worry because I've got you covered. I've already created videos on how to quickly find portals and the fastest way to get all six in the portal glyphs, so I'll leave a link to both of those videos in the description below for you. Another prerequisite is all of these multi tools are located in the Euclid Galaxy, so make sure you're there before travelling to any of the locations. And a final note before I give you the locations I always, always jump in and out of my starship when I'm coming out of the portal to create an autosave and then reload that autosave to make sure the correct S Pass multi tool is at each of the stations. So I'd recommend doing that on each of these locations as well. So I'm going to start with this very rare but very cool yellow S-Class Experimental Multi-Tool. It does only have 10 slots but you can easily upgrade that to more slots on any space station. And this yellow multi-tool is located on the space station itself within the system and the portal coordinates you're going to need to get it are Face, Bird, Eclipse, Balloon, Atlas, Voxel, Atlas, Atlas, Galaxy, Dragonfly, Sunset and finally a bird. Also worth noting that this is in a tier, tier 3 economy system so if you wait around long enough in the space station I'd be willing to bet that an exotic S class starship will appear so you can get your hands on one of them as well. And next up is the first of two alien S class multi tools in this video and this one comes in midnight blue. This is also the only one in this video that is not found on the space station so in order to get this multi tool you need to travel to another planet within the system. I'm definitely going to pronounce this planet wrong, but here goes. The planet you will find this blue alien multi tool on is called Nugirwuch Noda. That's probably wrong, but it is a frozen planet, and you should see a communication station within the planet's atmosphere, and that is where the multi tool is located. If you don't see that communication station when you're flying down to the planet, the on planet coordinates are plus 32.79 and plus 81.04. And the system portal coordinates for this blue alien multi tool are Diplo, Bird, Rocket, Sunset, Sunset, Face, Face, Diplo, Face, Galaxy, Balloon, and finally, a bug. Right, next up, I have a two for one for you, assuming the same thing I did works for you, of course. So when I got to this system and got myself up to the space station, the S class multi tool I found in the cabin it was not the one I was expecting. However, it was still an S-Class, so what do you think of this? I believe it's like a cross-experimental slash alien multi-tool kind of thing, and I think it looks pretty cool. So to get the one that I was expecting, what I did next was go back to my starship, get in and out of it to create a new autosave, and then I reloaded that autosave and went back up to the cabinet. And that is where I found the white and grey S-Class rifle that I was originally expecting to find, so if you follow those steps that I did, you could get yourself two S-Class multi-tools from the same space station. Winning! And the portal coordinates you're going to need to get these two multi tools are Bird, Bird, Galaxy, Tree, Bird, Bird, Atlas, Rocket, Fish, Voxel, Tent, and finally a Galaxy. Next up is another alien S class multi tool, and this one comes in red and orange. Again, it can be found on board the space station within the system, but this one is an outlaw station, so don't worry if you think it might be missing. I actually prefer this red and orange alien multi tool compared to the midnight blue one. Which one of the two is your favourite? And the portal coordinates you're going to need to get your hands on this red and orange alien multi tool are Eclipse, Bird, Galaxy, Rocket, Fish, Dragonfly, Diplo, Tree, Eclipse, Voxel, Balloon, and finally, a bug. So I thought I'd leave my favourite of the bunch until last and this one is of course this white and black experimental multi tool with 24 slots. This is one that I choose myself and it has already got maxed out slots to save you guys some money so you're onto a winner with this one. Again you can find this on board the space station and a side note this one is also in a tier 3 economy so if you hang around long enough in the space station I would bet an S class exotic starship could come on flying in so you can get your hands on that as well if you've got some patience. And the portal coordinates you're going to need to get your hands on this awesome and incredibly rare white and black experimental multi tool are Boat, Bird, 
Eclipse, Balloon, Atlas, Voxel, Atlas, Atlas, Galaxy, Dragonfly, Sunset, and finally, a bird. I have a quick shout out to the community on the subreddit r nms coordinate exchange who continuously showcase amazing things you can find in no man's sky along with giving you their coordinates you guys should definitely check it out if you use reddit and that folks is a location to six incredibly rare s-class multi tools of different types so you can pick whichever one is your favorite and go and grab it i hope you found this video useful and if you did it would be totally awesome if you could support my channel by hitting those like and subscribe buttons I'll be doing more No Man's Sky videos like this one along in the future along with showcasing amazing bases, update speculation, tutorials, glitches and much more so you don't want to miss out on those right? And as always, thank you for watching and catch you next time.